So when you're working out which entity you're going to be using, or if you have an existing entity type and you're just double checking the fitness for purpose, um, there will be a number of factors that you take into account when you're selecting um, the entity type um, or checking. So administration um, of a separate legal entity is something um, that you'll want to take into account. So this is more for the step where you are uh, unincorporated, you're just an association, um, and you're looking at moving to a, a separate legal entity structure. So once you move to incorporation or registration, um, then you've got a separate entity that needs to be administered. And as we've talked about, a number of duties for those people governing the organization that need to be complied with, um, and often legislation that needs to be followed as well. So there's a level of um, administration that needs to be dealt with, um, and there can be costs associated with, with managing that. Um, and certainly often a, a, a bit more expensive than running an unincorporated body. Um, in terms of accountability, so this is one of the key aspects to think about when selecting, I would say, between um, an association, incorporated society, um, and company versus the, the more trust-based um, entity types. So an unincorporated trust or an incorporated trust board. So often um, associations, incorporated societies and companies are accountable to members um, or shareholders. And that accountability is, in most cases, set out um, in statute. Trustees managing a, a trust, um, I guess there's, there's more control that the trustees have um, in those entity types. And so there's slightly less accountability to beneficiaries, although with our new act under the, in the, in the trust side of things, um, there is some accountability now. Flexibility, um, obviously the higher up the um, spectrum you get um, from unincorporated to incorporated to charitable status, uh, the less flexible the organization is. So changing um, a constitution or a trust deed uh, or a set of rules um, that have gone through a registration process or charitable status become harder to change. Um, they're not impossible to change, but there's certainly more steps involved. Um, in comparison, an unincorporated association um, would have a lot more flexibility to simply change their, their rules of operation. Uh, might require a bit of member consent to the change in rules, um, but it's a fairly straightforward process to sort of pivot and, and move in a slightly different direction. Pecuniary gain is one of the key elements of both incorporation and charitable status. Um, as you kind of, again, move up through the spectrum, the ability to make any sort of pecuniary gain drops away. So this is where um, those either members or uh, those people on committees or boards um, aren't able to make any gain themselves. And that can include um, on wind up of the association incorporated society um, or trust board. So where members have a right to share in the assets on wind up, um, that's also considered pecuniary gain. So what happens in an incorporated society scenario is if the incorporated society were to be wound up, then any surplus assets after that process has happened has to be passed to another not-for-profit entity. Um, so the, the leftover assets, if you like, stay within the not-for-profit um, world, if you like. Duties of governors is another key aspect to consider when you're selecting an entity type. Um, again, as you move up through the spectrum, those duties become more involved, um, and those governors need to um, be aware of and comply with those requirements. Um, and, and if they don't, then the members or beneficiaries can hold those governors to account um, to comply with those requirements. Um, on the flip side, an unincorporated association, um, those on a committee, the only rules they'd need to comply with would be 
um, the rules of the uh, association. So a lot less involved, less statutory overlay, um, less chance of getting caught out, I guess. Control is another thing to consider. Um, so if you were setting up an organisation yourself and donating money to that organisation, um, you may want to maintain control of that organisation to make sure it goes in a direction that you want it to. In those sorts of cases, often the, the trust approach is better than a democratically elected committee, as would be the case in an incorporated society um, or, or company. So in those cases, um, the board or committee would be elected by members. Um, so there is a risk that you've gone to the effort of setting the structure up and donated the money, but then you're removed from control of the organisation. Um, so that can be a, a consideration to take into account as well. Um, we've touched on it elsewhere, but attractiveness to funders um, is also a consideration. So again, the higher up the spectrum you get um, in terms of incorporation and charitable status, um, the more attractive you might be to funders or those giving out grants. Um, and that comes down to the structure of the organisation and that um, level of scrutiny, I guess, that's applied as you go through um, each step. Income tax, we've touched on that as well. So that's often um, a key element to be considered. Again, um, grab some tax and accounting advice around that. But typically, um, again, the further up you get, um, the higher the tax exemption that's provided. Um, and yeah, the scrutiny that kind of comes along with that is, is the trade-off route. Really. And in terms of winding up, um, again, the higher you get through the spectrum, um, the more formal the wind-up process is. An incorporated society, for example, would can go through an insolvency or liquidation process. Um, receivers can be appointed and, and those sorts of things, as would be the case with a, with a company. Um, and often um, associations, it's a, it's a very much an informal process where uh, debts are paid, the entities wound down, and any surplus assets are distributed. So the more, the higher up you get, the more formal the process 